Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to another episode of Mac Warrior 5 Mercenaries. Guys, it is time that we play a bunch more missions and I want to see if I can get the full heavy lance on the board today. We have the Grasshopper, we have the Archer, we have the Jäger Mech as well as the Thunderbolt. And yeah, I would say we're gonna repair our mechs a little bit because they took a little bit of a beating the last time we played with them. And then we're gonna dive into the game again. Let's see, edit loadout here. Yeah, the Shadowhawk lost an arm last time. It's not a big deal. We can replace that easily. Uh, wait a sec. Also repair. And and the fire starter, which also needs repair, but only repair and no, no replacement. And we are good to go, more or less. So we have, probably have to wait a bit until the timeline advances. Alright. And here we go. We have two contracts available. One is the story mission. The other one is the political operative. I would say we're gonna advance the story. Let's go. We are playing first strike. Also, the difficulty is 40 and that's really nice. That should give us a good amount of tonnage. Yeah, 250. That's really good. Uh, I will go with maximum salvage here. I just want to see what we can get with 18 salvage shares. We get a good chunk of money anyway. Damage coverage would also be good, but again, I'm just here for the stuff. Now, um, what are we doing here? We have the Archer, we have the Shadowhawk. Can we get the Thunderbolt? No, we are five tons over. Ah, that's a problem. No, wait, it is not, because we can drop the Shadowhawk, which is a 55 tonner, to a Centurion, which is a 50 tonner. And now we have 250 tons. We're gonna use the Archer, the Thunderbolt, the Centurion, and the Jagermag. And I am looking forward to the performance of the Thunderbolt there. So, this should be good. We need somebody with laser and missile proficiency. That... And mostly laser and a little bit of missile. This thing is running an LRM-20, as well as three mediums and one large laser. Tabor? Uh, we can take her, Captain Ridley. No, you know what? Ridley is gonna play the Centurion. And the Thunderbolt goes to Freeman. Yeah, that seems like a plan. Alright, so... Yeah, that's, that's how I wanna roll here. The Archer, our dedicated fire support. And then the Jäger Mech. I think I'm gonna play the Jäger Mech and that for a very specific reason here. Uh, by the way, let's dive into this. The reason is that... The Thunderbolt has an energy and missile based build, which means the build will run hot eventually and it is a rather slow paced build with long cooldowns. Long cooldowns is a thing that the AI pilots have and they do it, they don't shoot that often. They just run around and they shoot occasionally and uh, they are not just going all alpha strike and uh, they are not riding their heat scale so much. Which means that I can Reactor just keep online. those low DPS, um, the low DPS max on the AI pilots, and I'm gonna go with the burst damage so that I can react to the battlefield in a better way, in a quicker way. So what are we doing here? Okay. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, they bring Igor's. Oh, they are under attack already. Come on, guys! I'm gonna help those people defend the settlement from the Inferno attack. I'll try. Let's see, our burst fire auto cannons have a range of 650, so we should be able to actually hit him. Um, wait. We did. I want to fire my laser. Okay, got him. It's one down. Stop shooting! Man, it's. You're, un you're under real heavy pressure here. The direct attack there? That's just crazy. We got the second Igor though. One of our guys is just standing. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Okay, we can deal with those things first and then we're gonna see how... How the people are coming, if they're coming. Got that thing. And we got that thing. You're safe, people! Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 reinforcements. False lasers, that's a good thing. And this is what I mean. Being able to shoot into the sky like that, uh, at that distance, it just makes more sense. Alright, the Centurion is stuck, so it seems. Whoa, whoa, wait, we have more... Ah, we have more everything. Come on, guys, attack! That's a lot. That's just so much. That's just so much. See, this is it. It took so long until my friends have fired. They're so lazy. Got 
with their helicopter. And I think there were tanks on the other side as well. Destroyed. Target destroyed. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lot of stuff coming. Uh, what do we have there? Scorpions. Uh, not great. Got him. Got him. So. Uh-oh. 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 Not good. See again? This is kind of a super weird situation. Hey, I got stuck. At the same time, I just don't know. I'm thinking about just pushing and leaving this Centurion behind. At the same time, I have the feeling that we need it. How can I get him out there? I can say go here. Can you do that? I think she's just completely stuck. Maybe bumping into her would help. Give me one second. I want to check something out. One thing. And if that doesn't work, we're gonna we're gonna go. I'm not gonna go all the way back. Um, okay, she's standing there. Can I direct her? There's no way to get there, Commander. Um, I can't generate an app path, Commander. No can do, Commander. Why not? To that location. Affirmative. We're on the move. I don't have a possible route, Commander. Ah, uh, I can only direct him in a thousand meters or so. I don't know. Let's go. Yeah, we're gonna go in formation now. We're gonna use our Thunderbolt, the Archer, and me and the Jäger mech, and it should be enough. By the way, <clears throat> we have saved the settlement. Let's destroy the settlement. Now does it, that it doesn't matter anymore. Uh-huh. Cool, let's go. What are we doing here? We have to destroy the fuel depots. And I don't believe we can do it without the Centurion even. I hope. Also, let's keep in mind, or let's keep uh, track of the experience that the Centurion gains now that it is completely unengaged or disengaged. He's not in the fight, or she's not in the fight at all. Does she gain experience from this mission now? I want to see that. Does she get better in terms of his skills? Or is it based on how many hits you actually land on your targets? I need help, guys. Where's your direct fire? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's just so much. Okay, I think we have to be careful here. Missiles, away. Let's go. Shoot him. See? They're, they're way too slow. Reaction time, guys. I need it. Oh, there's another one. Alright, so far so good. That was scary as hell. There's a PPC down there. Probably a manticore. It's a it's a mech, it's a vindicator. Go for it. I mean it's just a vindicator and he's getting peppered by missiles. I mean that is looking great now. The missile support flying like that? Perfect. It's very splashy, but still. I'm here for the direct fire. Good. Oh, more flies coming. Crap. Crap! Good, good, good. Okay, so the people are getting warmed up. That's perfect. Uh, we have to destroy three fuel depots, though. Is that the first out of many? Because if so, man, I wish we had that Centurion. Okay. That was just an outpost. That was just an outpost. Freeman is also a little bit damaged on the Thunderbolt. Yeah, he took a bunch of PPC hits there. Uh, let me go in first, though. Again, reacting to those tanks and flyers, this is what the Jagermech does the best here. We are an anti-air support platform anyway, so <laughs> it makes some sense. That's a cool base, though. That seems handcrafted. Absolutely. And we are there. What did you get? A turret? Moving out. Move in. Come on, guys. We have to go at the same time. That's what I mean. Getting those turrets down and splitting up a little. So what's the plan? Those seem to be just waypoints so far. Definitely going for the Igor there. 
probably gonna race soon. Yeah, there we go. Missiles, ballistics, down goes the Igor. It's really cool that they bring those those helicopters, those VTOLs. They're scary as hell and they bear a lot of weapon systems and provide a big challenge. The hell? Good. Good, good, good. Again, I'm gonna try to take it slow as much as possible. Would be great if you wouldn't kill me though. Right, got that. What's the archer doing? I think the archer is still far. Yeah, it's absolutely fresh. Thunderbolt took a bit of a beating. And my Jäger mech? My Jäger mech is getting more and more damage here. They just come around and they instantly shoot. Good job, Darn. Good job. Let's keep pushing. Slowly but surely. Is that all the resin here? I don't know. Uh, this space looks really cool though, I gotta say. That's a nice military slash industrial complex. I like it. Is that turret? There we go, we got the 3D post found now. Ah, okay. So there is still, this is kind of a gauntlet here. We have to move through the canyon and destroy our three waypoints, or the, the stuff at the three waypoints. Come on guys, get in here! Yeah, those are barracks. Oh, you could even see the bunk beds. I mean, yeah, they are done now, but... See them? That's pretty detailed, I like that. Good, my mechs are coming, let's keep going. I really wonder if we are fighting mechs here later, or if that's only... Um, if that's only only vehicles mostly, well, I'd say mostly. Yeah. One down, two to go. Good. So we had a bunch of tanks, a bunch of those VTOLs, which provide an actual threat. I mean, don't get me wrong, but the mechs are rather slim here. Only a Vindicator so far. I mean, if that's what you do, then that's what they do. Maybe they are. No, they don't have enough money for mix. Let's take it slow. We send in the people. Come on, guys, get in there. Especially you. The archer needs to take a bit more damage. Or let's say, if somebody is taking damage, then I want it to be the archer. Something shot there. Okay, keep shooting. Where's the next waypoint? Left and right of this. Okay, got it. So I would say... Yeah, you follow me again. This looks so good. This looks like a nice urban, um, you know, landscape here. More or less too far away. So what we do is, we're gonna go to the right side first. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Oh, this is cool. I need more of that. More of that in the random missions. Again, I, I feel this is handcrafted, but still, I just want more of this. And a lot. A lot more. That's a great biome. If you can say biome here. Yeah. Got that guy. Got that guy. Now where's the fuel depot? Somewhere along those lines here, right? Was that it? No? Oh no, it's down there. Good work. Keep searching. There's still one more to go. Yeah, there's one more to go, but it's too quiet, guys. Looks like Inferno are determined to get some payback for what we've done. Where's the dropship? Well, someone's gonna be very disappointed. Ooh, ooh, look who's there! Look who's there! Somebody's moving on the map! Ah, reinforcements arrived! The cavalry is coming! Yeah! We got our Centurion now! I'm very happy about that. But where is the freaking dropship? I did not see it. Eliminate the forces. It should be here somewhere. Right? 
I really hope they're not falling in our bags. Maybe that was just a heads up. And they are coming when we destroy the second fuel or the third fuel depot. Oh, there they are. Found him. Okay, max first, then the fuel depot. Oh, hello, Cicada. You are black Inferno. You are black dust. Okay. Next. Now, actually, oh my god, the Wolverine. Let's go. All of a sudden, there's a land in our midst. Which is quite cool, actually. Um, I will take the auto cannon off first. Okay. Ooh, I'm taking far too much damage. Far too much. Try to get out of here. Try to find a spot within the um, within the city here that gives me some kind of cover. Yeah, that helps. That definitely helps. And he is gone. Good. Now the movie. So where's the Centurion? There you are! Ha! Good to see you, Captain Ridley. Nice that you made it. You're a bit late to the party, but, you know, it's better than never. That's the Poe. Alright. What now? Huh. <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh, there it is. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. So there's one more dropship coming down. They brought something bigger, I think. Ow. Oh, that's my right arm. It's also twist away from this. That's my rod, I'm gone now. I wanted to toss a twist again, but I was too slow. Alright, we got the Oh my god! No 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 What's the pulse laser? Holy crap! Um that was weird and scary and weird and scary again. It's a freaking warhammer. That's a freaking warhammer. Give me that warhammer. Mine. Uh, I'm not here. <laughs> Guys, you're more or less on your own. Um. Okay, 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 okay. I'll try to support you. I gotta be careful now. Can do it. It's the Warhammer again. Oh, yeah, and the assassin behind. Oh, yeah. No, the Phoenix Arc, actually. No, both of them. Guys, can you do it? Police? I don't want to die! Can you please focus on the target? I mean, this guy is down to a small laser. Maybe we can take him out. Okay, go for the freaking assassin. That thing is scary as hell. Pulse laser for the win. Yeah, we can definitely kill this. And I really hope that the others are attracting the fire from the Warhammer as well as the assassin. So we got this guy. Warhammer! Assassin. I think I'll go for the Warhammer side also and try to get rid of that. Uh, component loss. That's not great. Oh my god! How are you doing? This assassin is taking way too much damage. By the way. What did you lose? Dude, you're getting... You're just... Wow. Wow. Whoa. No, right arm destroyed. That's the right arm destroyed. That right arm is the auto cannon arm. So now it's the Warhammer. <laughs> that last fight, I don't know what hit us, but it hit us like a truck. That was crazy. Yeah, we go just for center over destruction there. Oh, the reactor is exploding, which means that we probably won't get the salvage off it there. Hell, that was a fight. Yeah, it was difficulty rating 40, and I'm very, very happy that the Centurion came back after all. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, at the same time, we finished the mission. 
We have to repair, we have to refit, but it also gives us some option for new builds. <laughs> Let's look at the bright side of things. Oh, we get the Warhammer anyway, and medium pulse lasers, and SRM-6 with Artemis, and Artemis ammo. Okay. Okay. So, that was the story part. Nice. I'll take those. Yeah, just the value picks here. Oh, that's crazy. That's super crazy. We get a Warhammer, guys. It's a very beautiful 70-ton mag. This thing is just great. Um, lost a large laser there. Okay, lost a medium laser there. The archer almost got wrecked. And the arm here. Yeah, we have to replace our auto cannons. But, okay. First strike. Acquired the fireworks show, Commander. With Inferno's fuel supplies up in smoke, we delivered them a significant setback. Although, I doubt it'll derail their overall operations. We have rattled their cage. That might force them out in the open, and with a bit of luck, I c it could help us locate their base of operations. For now, we'll just have to wait and see what their next move is. Rewards claimed. Wow. What a firework. So, first things first, we're gonna repair this. We have a medium laser, no problem. Okay, and then just a bit of repairs on the archer. Good. Now, the archer didn't really perform well on this mission here. Um, because the, the confined space made it so that uh, it couldn't really fire all of the long-range missiles. We're gonna replace an autocannon here, but we have one spare lying around. Let's actually put a burst fire on this. Repair, thank you, good. Next, ooh, the Jägermeck. The Jägermeck! Lost the pulse laser, alright, and the heatsink, as well as two burst fire autocannons. Ooh, we still have some. Yeah, we lost the tier 1. I think tier 1 and a tier 2, right? Was that it? Uh, we could also think about putting AC2 burst fires onto this. I don't know. Well, I want my pulse laser back. Give me that. There we go. And a single heatsink. I think the build is still pretty good. 66 days for repairs. Yikes. Large laser, tier 2, lost. And... We have a large laser tier 1 there. We could also put a PPC on there, if we want it. Everything else can just be repaired, that's fine. Maybe a PPC is not the worst idea. I think I want that. Let's put there a PPC there and put the LRM-15. Um, LRM-15 in here. Uh, that also gives us another single heat sink. Let me sink real quick. And we don't have enough money to repair that thing. Ooh, this is the first time I'm I'm ever running into, into money problems. Alright, uh, we're gonna not confirm that. Let me see, is there anything we can sell? Not really, in terms of mechs. I wanna keep all of them. I mean, this is a Warhammer now, we can just use that thing. It's beautiful. And it's a 6R. Hell yeah. Okay, so let me think, let me think, let me think. What am I doing here? We need some money. Uh, we have the financial report in 15 days. Mm -hmm, we have to play some missions. It's fine. But let me see what I can do in terms of selling stuff, selling equipment. Um, hmm. Bunch of auto cannons. We have two auto cannon tents lying around. I kind of sell one. Those. Those. And <laughs> there's the AC20 burst fire. For later. Four later. Bunch of large lasers, okay. They give us good money. Then we have some LRMs. I sell this. I sell this. Those machine guns can go. This PPC can go. Those SRM2s. That. Well, we have a lot of SRM6s, which is good, but we don't really use them yet. Now, but we have a million sea builds again, which means we can start repairing the Thunderbolt. Let's go back to the bolt and, and do something with it. Edit loadout. Maybe I'm just keeping the build, maybe repairing. And then just putting a laser on this thing. Reduces our overall cost here. Give me a sec. I want the PPC though. Yeah, and the LRM-15. And then a heatsink. I think that's better overall. 
Okay, start the work. 74 days. You're crazy. Uh-huh. So, due in 15 days. Which means that we need to gather some more money. Um, Alright, uh, first things first. We will take a look at this here real quick. Paint Mac. I'm gonna copy that. B-C-O-D-O-O. That's the first thing we do with the new Warhammer. Paint Mac. So... Steiner Kamo pattern. Uh, B C O D O. What? E C O D O. That's the red that we want. That's the secondary red. And we got it. So, we can play another mission here. Uh, did anybody get hurt? I don't know. We need to get money. That's for sure. That's for sure. 33. Uh, difficulty assassination. We are going for the money here. We don't need anything else right now. And, you know what, a bit of insurance cost. Furniture limit is 230, which means we will be playing with the Warhammer. I'm gonna piloting, I'm gonna be piloting that. We have the Shadowhawk, we have the Grasshopper, and we have the Blackjack. That's, oh, that's too much. That's too much already. Then we're gonna play the Trebuchet. Yup, so... That, that's good. That's really good. But you're gonna go for the trap because you're our missile support. Are you okay with the blackjack? You're pretty good with ballistics. I want you on the Shadowhawk, actually. Let's do it like that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, guys. That's gonna be our lands for the next mission. We need to gather some money and then we have to repair. Oh, it's pretty cool. We are mildly under pressure already when it comes to sea builds. And, I mean, at the same time, I was pretty, pretty... You know, easy on my money expenses. I just repaired everything all the time. Although I had other mechs to play with. Because I wanted to play with my with my favorite mechs. It's a, probably a good idea to alternate between mech loadouts. Or not loadouts, but uh, lance loadout. Reactor Using online. the mechs that are just there right Sensors now. And then, then repairing them online. when you're traveling. All systems nominal. Nominal. Alright. Going to stick to any one of the marked locations on the map. Once you neutralize them, head to the evac point for extraction. Okay, I think I have a build here. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Lasers? How hard is this gonna be? It is okay. Ish. Okay, ish. So we have two PPCs on this thing now. And then an SRM and machine guns. So locate and kill the target. Suspected locations are here. Yeah, we got we gotta go over there. Let's go north first, it's the closest. And then we check out the others later. Ah, oh, double PPC Warhammer! What did he get? What? Did you, did you confirm something? Maybe there was a turret somewhere. Alright guys, let's go. Double PPC Warhammer. The Warhammer is such a beautiful man. I mean, beautiful in terms of beautiful, and it has some real cool loadout options. The two large energy hardpoints are pretty good. Okay, but I need to learn the weapon groups, so... really hope that I get this straight. I'm over here. I don't have an angle yet. Did you just run through this? You just ran through the rock. Now, that's really good. That you, It's really good that you can take out those flyers real quick. Uh, um, go for it, guys. Still not dead. Whoa. Okay. And then there's another Igor. Good shot, though. Yeah, yet again. I, I need to get that straight. Um, we are getting swarmed, by the way. That's crazy. Let's get those. And we got, we got him. Yeah, we see the assassination target already. He <laughs> critical. Haha, <laughs> yeah. That's what we get. I tried to bust those tanks, by the way. Because they are scary and we can take them out quite, quite easily. Easily, quote unquote easily. You go for the quick draw. Try to hit the head, maybe. Mm, no, I still, I still go for the tanks. They have to, they have to go, they have to vanish. 
SRMs maybe. Good, we got him. And we shut down. Uh, not quite. I know that I'm shooting my small lasers out of range, but I have this, the weapon group set up in a weird way. Come on, guys, go for the cicada. I'll try to keep the outskirts clear there. Good. Good. Uh. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. <clears throat> machine guns. We have machine guns. Guys, come on, cicada, please. Down we go. Oh, 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 oh. They're going critical. Let's get out of here. But the good thing is, we basically have destroyed most of the enemies there. So, easy peasy. That was that was really good. Oh, we have to go to the evac there. And we destroy this really good to hear. Thank you very much. And now we just go to the evac. Get the hell out of here. Freeman got hit on the Shadow Hawk quite a lot. And one of the lasers is crit. Uh, that's not that great, but we can repair that. At the very least, he didn't lose his arm again. It seems like, <clears throat> especially Freeman, has a neck for torso twisting a lot and using his arm as a shield. Yeah, let's kill the cicada as well. I'm very unhappy that I did not negotiate for a salvage here. Because that could have that could have been a quick draw. Okay. Heat management is really hard with the PPCs. So I'm riding the red line a lot. And you know what? I would streamline the build actually quite a lot. I would probably... Would I don't know, I think I keep the PPCs, maybe two medium lasers, and then the medium missile slot will most likely get an LRM-10. This could be a dedicated fire support, two mediums, two PPCs. Maybe not even the LRM, just more heat sinks to keep the mech cold, so that we can shoot our pinpoint weapons more. I don't know, or we go for two large lasers, two medium lasers, and LRM-10. This could also be a nice build. Okay. Yeah, there's the cicada. But we don't want it, so we got two salvage. What do we take? Uh, I think I'll take another LRM-10? Question mark? Yeah, let's get that. So, any skills? Nothing here. Fine. That means that we're gonna repair, and I would say we travel to the next planet. Repair that. Mm -hmm. We travel to the next planet and see what we can do there. Good, all the repairs in the world. I think it's really interesting and re really important to have a mixed lance or a mixed set of mechs so that you can adjust to the tarnish limitations on the battlefield. Don't sell your old mechs, and I, I even keep the fire starter for that exact reason. Because it is a mech that we can always chip in when we need to lower the tonnage a bit. Um, a million sea bills. We have a financial report coming up. Means we need to go somewhere. And play some more missions. It's a raid. It's a war. Two war zones. Demolition. Demolition is good. Demolition and assassination. Let's go there. Set course. Okay, bills are paid for. I mean, at some point, at some point, I wanna mm, pick up some more max to sell. Honestly, it would be cool if we could get. I don't know, a bunch of medium max that we can just drop then. Because we have the Hawk, the Centurion, and the Trebuchet. All of them really good mechs. Okay, three available contracts. What do we take here? Four mission operation, no thank you. Uh, I'm gonna play the assassination mission here. And good thing is we are in pretty good standing with the uh, Davions, which means I'll take a lot of salvage here. And we even get a good chunk of money. 20 might be too much though. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. I'll accept this. So, Shadowhawk is not there yet. Okay. What can we do? It's not gonna work. The Thunderbolt would work here. Mm, but it's still in, in repairs. Yeah, okay, so what we do is we go back home. Could wait for the Centurion. I could also wait for the, the Hawk. Can I not confirm the lands? Uh, can I not wait any longer? Okay, now I have to confirm lands. 
Do I dare going in with the... Uh, with the thing? With the hawk again? How does the hawk look? Damaged. A lot. So it's the fire starter. And you're playing the grasshopper. See, this is what I mean. We can we can just interchange those things and uh, we are fine. Actually, you go for the grasshopper, you go for the fire starter. All right, let's go. Readying up. And uh, as you could see, I did not change the loadout of the of the warhammer yet because I don't want to spend more time in space and I don't want to uh, have more expenses going on. But anyway, we're gonna assassinate those enemies anyway. We're pretty much long range except for our fire starter. Mm, it might be that the fire starter is throwing himself into the fray and we have to Reactor help him out online. from the mid to long range Sensors there. Online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. This bounty is only payable if we bring the entire group to justice. So you will have to search the area and ensure that everyone on our list is found and dealt with before we can pack it in. Alright, we can do that. Let's go to the left side first. Let's go to the west and then we can circle around to the north and then to the east again. That's the battle plan here. Come on, guys. Get your actuators moving. We have a contract to fulfill. I do like the, the evening appeal of this whole canyon here. Looks cool. I like the lighting. Maybe I should also change my weapon groups a bit. There are just so many, too many different weapon systems. That's the problem. Okay, so... Small lasers are just generating heat from nothing, basically. I have an idea. I'll do it like that. And now I can have the mediums there and the smalls there. Yeah, that's way better. Alright guys, first target. Let's go! Job on the missiles. That was a great not hit. New target acquired. AKA a miss. Target I've got readings on all of our targets. Take them out before more hostiles converge on your position. Alright. Where they are? There's definitely a flyer. Got him. And another one. Got him. I like those PPC blooms. If I hit him. If. What? What? Okay, laser time. <laughs> Alright, first target is a quick draw. Let's go then. Uh, I think we'll shoot once to open him up. And then we stay in, uh, in a brawling range and we just do this. It's just more DPS. Yeah. Alright, one down. Give me that guy, please. Oh my god. This could be really bad for us here. And they are bringing more. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we are in crawling range. We are not using our PPCs anymore. Getting that guy as quickly as possible. Next up is the Locust. Ooh, can we bail? No, I think I'm gonna stay here for a little, little longer. No, I'm just staying here. I think we need to fight our way out of this. Come on, Cicada! Ah. Come on! Ah. We are not hitting them. That's too much. That's too much. Fail. Run away. Run away. That's so much. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what is going on here? Panicking. You might see that. Yup. Guys, there are too many enemies here. There are just too many enemies. Okay, we're gonna reduce them like crazy. Got him. 
Got him. Alright, so my teammates are still fighting. Can we help them? We can. And Ridley is not looking great anymore. Mm -hmm. Go for it, guys. I think this is the time where we engage again. Now that we have those stupid tanks out of the way, we, we are actually we actually fine. Opponent lost, okay. I need to get that velocity straight. Do you just hit scan those? Not really, right? Not really. Whew, what a fight! Alright, the grasshopper lost an arm. <laughs> and now we just go. We should have ran in the first place. Making a making a backward fight happen. So oh wait. Fire starter. Lost a component. My mechs are looking so critical. Okay, you lost a component. The trebuchet is fine still, it's good. But our Warhammer, I mean it needs refit anyway. But it took a beating. And all of a sudden, yeah, the money, the money and the equipment and all of that. I can see that it's getting more dangerous now. But I like it, honestly, I like it. And I think this this year again was a was a matter of all of a sudden. They were there was a dropship coming down, which was okay. But they were, I think, tanks spawned directly behind us, like everywhere. Out of nowhere. And that's the thing that I don't like too much. If they're bringing reinforcements, there should be a heads up and um, you know something that gives you an indication of uh, I should take care of my lands now. But okay. We made it out alive. We got a bit of repairs to do. And we got good money. Do we also get good salvage? The answer is no. The answer is just plainly no. Crap. I was hoping for at least a light mag. Anything. Now we have to put all of the salvage shares into stuff that we don't need and we, that we cannot sell for good money. Okay. Yeah, it was fine though. Okay, let's take a look. How much money do we actually have? Also, let's take a look at the market. <laughs> There's another Jäger mech. Okay. Oh, and the Kintaro. A Kintaro. This thing is a nice brawler. You can put some SRMs on this and just have a good time with it. Absolutely. I like Kintaros. Just four SRM4s. And go. Um, do we pick it up? Uh, I mean, we cannot, obviously. We just can't. But here's the equipment tab. Let's go ahead and see if we can sell something that we don't need. We picked up burst fires. No, no, no. We have a lot of AC5s there. I'll do it like that. Okay. We have so many flamers that we probably never use. It's okay. Lots of LRM tents, though. It's good money. Um, I keep those. Machine guns, medium lasers, all of those can go. And then I think we had a good chunk of jump jets as well. So how many medium lasers do, do we need? I mean, we are losing a bunch of them every now and then, so I'll keep them around. SRM2s, mm-hmm. Let's go for that. And we have Artemis SRM6s, we can think about that later. Um, not right now. So what about the jump jets? Get rid of them, get rid of them of LRM ammo. So in terms of ammunition and support systems, we don't have much to sell. This is, I believe, it for the moment. This is the money that we have, so let's take a look at our battle mech. Let's edit the loadout right away, because I am not happy. I'm absolutely not happy with the machine guns, we don't need them. The single SRM6 is, hmm, okay, I would say. It is okay. If we want to keep our PPCs, though, I think we drop back to... Just small lasers, as the backup. Just the smalls, and we have a good time. And then the SRM as a as a point defense brawling weapon. The rest of the stuff is maybe just heat sinks, <laughs> or armor. <laughs> Let's go with armor, guys. Let's build that. This machine gun ammo that we don't need either. Put that on leg. Good. And. Yeah, the rest is just armor. I also want to get a bit more leg armor. Let's go to. 46. 46 is a good number here. Okay. Back armor is fine. I'll go for more front armor though. We need that if you want to be in the fights. 60, 60, uh, 62. I think that's alright. Let's put it to 64 and add some more head armor. So, what we can do now is 
drop this heat sink because it's trash. And one more here. And then we have to buy one. We have to buy a single heat sink. Crazy. Okay, there it is. That's the build now. We have only four small lasers. We still keep the SRM6, I believe. Uh, also, yeah, what's, what about the Artemis? Artemis, yes or no? The Artemis is just better because it's a tier 3 weapon. Let's see. Valid only. Inventory market. Gets me every time. Gets me every single time. So, damage is 15.84, and that's probably because of the higher tier. Yeah, heat is 3.6 against 3.24. Also good, max range is a bit better than this. And it has a higher velocity. And, since it's using Artemis ammo, it has a tighter spread. Or, oh, the Artemis targeting system, it has a tighter spread. I think I'll keep that. I think I want that. Uh, and then, not SRM ammo, but Artemis ammo. Okay. Let's see how this works. Two PPCs, two small lasers, one SRM6, Artemis, and the rest is just single heat sinks. Looking good, guys. So that's gonna be our Marauder, and that takes us 600,000. That's so crazy. Holy cow. All right, the fire starter. Um, now I'm gonna take a, take a look at the grasshopper first. He lost the medium laser again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, the repairs are getting higher and higher. Start the work, though. I like. Honestly, this is the point in the game that I wanted to be in. Where money matters and where you really have to think about what you can afford and what you want to do with your max. Okay, you added loadout because you lost something. Ooh, the pulse laser. That's not great. Not a big deal though, but hmm. Um, we'll put the medium on here and then another small laser. Alright. Start the work. And we are down to 800,000. We have a bit of time, 70 days for the next financial report. That takes 450,000 away from us. But still, that's crazy. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode today. We got a new mech, the, the Warhammer. I'm very much looking forward to build that and to play around with that a little longer. Um, if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.